everybody. It's Jamie. Hi, I'm Gemma. From Play the Wine Preschool. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Today, we thought we would share an idea for you um, that we like to use at the light table. But if you don't have a light table, you can just use any table. You could just do it in the block center or on the ground, on the ground or at a table. And it's a STEM challenge. STEM, if you're familiar with the term, it's kind of a I don't know, the hot topic in, in education for the last couple of years is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And that's constructing things and thinking about building structures and um, doing things in the science, technology, engineering realm. So, anything about I'm just, STEM to, I'm just making sure that um, we've had trouble with our video. Hi, I was just, just waiting to see if anyone's like, oh, it doesn't work, it doesn't no, work. I think it'll work. Okay. My fingers are crossed. And so we like to set up different STEM challenges for our preschool, preschoolers. Um, challenges are interesting uh, for students because it's a, it's a good way to get them to think in, uh, to expand their thinking. For example, when they're building in the block center, sometimes we'll challenge them to say, can you build something taller than whatever, yourself? Can or... You can you build something that's almost to the ceiling? Can you build something that takes up the whole floor space? Can you build something that goes around the table? Can you build something in the shape of a triangle or a pyramid? And so to offer them those challenges is a really good way to get them to expand their thinking and to um, kind of take them from where they are to that next level. We have set up a STEM challenge. Hey, Caroline, thanks for joining us. Hi, everybody on our light table with some goodies that we picked up at the dollar store. Jamie Yay! loves the dollar store. <laughs> I've also seen them at the party store for like four times as much. Yeah, um, don't, go, don't, don't go to the party why? store if you can go to the dollar store. Um, so we thought we would just share with you the supplies that we're using. And again, if you don't have a light table, this would be a great um, challenge to set up at a regular table, mm -hmm. at the block center, on the floor, if you've got, especially if you've got tile floors. Mm -hmm. And if you have a ton of kids in your class, you can set up multiple areas for this. So they're not all trying to get the same, the same pieces. You can do it in, in multiple areas in your room. Okay. So we're going to share with you the four, four supplies. I think there are four supplies and just kind of show you some of the things that our students have been building with them. We um, also have lots of photographs of this and I left a link in the video description so if you'd like to see more photographs of our actual preschoolers in action building their STEM challenges at the light table make sure you uh, check out that link okay so here goes I think what we're gonna do we're not turning the light table on because it, it does something glare. strange with the iPad so in case you're like the light table isn't on there's a reason so the four supplies that we have set up at the light table the first are drink stirs and these come in all kinds of fun tropical colors and shapes. Some of them um, roll and some of them are flat, like this one is kind of flat. And uh, they are party drink stirrers, like at the luau section of the dollar store. <laughs> we don't use them for drink stirrers, but they make a really nice light table manipulative. So that's the first thing that we have set up. And then there's these little <laughs> These are shot glasses. They're shot glasses. <laughs> but look how colorful they are. <laughs> and they're plastic. They're plastic and they come in the same bright tropical colors. Luau colors. Luau colors. <laughs> and there's like a whole big pack of them for a dollar yeah. at the dollar store. So if they break, it's okay. Which, just throw them away. Which they will. You just toss that one. No big deal. So we've got shot glasses. Now, Gem and I are not drinkers, honestly. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, but these apparently are shot tubes. So I'm messy. <laughs> I had no idea that's what they were, actually. You can put your coffee in here. <laughs> I need more coffee than that. <laughs> she, she doesn't know me very well, honestly. Oh, Maybe goodness. like a big one of those. We could have fun with those afterwards, but at least I swear we're not really drinkers. <laughs> we really don't drink. As far as I know, we probably should be. Oh, just mostly coffee. <laughs> and they come in those same tropical colors. <laughs> and they make, they uh, stack. Oh, we can't really see. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and they also hold, you know, the cups at the top. Now, there's pros and cons to these shot tubes. <laughs> I didn't know Ignore that's the really package. Because I, I took them out of the package before I showed them to you. <laughs> Look at these great building toys they sell. <laughs> that's so great. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway, no, 
Now there's good things. The good thing is that they are really good for STEM construction projects um, because they, you know, they stack and they build really nicely. And, and they look great bad. on the light table and too. They look, they, 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 they look fantastic on the light table. Here's the bad part about them. Shall I demonstrate? Yeah. They stack together, which, you know, okay. If I did that too. Here, oh yes. I will we'll do it too. demonstrate for you about how our preschoolers like to play with these yeah. shock tubes. I wonder if they go home and tell their parents they're playing with shock tubes and shock glass. So you can see where we're going with this, right? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, <laughs> or light, light like this whole thing. <laughs> they're like, like yeah, yeah. light with them. Yeah. Or, yeah. or using like telescopes <laughs> or that. If you have kids in your class that make things, anything into swords, they're going to do this. They're going to make these into swords. But you're just going to have to encourage them. <laughs> not to do that. Distraction techniques work. And the fourth material that we have set up on the light table, in addition to the shot cups or shot glasses and the shot tubes are ping pong balls. This is like a like a bar game waiting to happen. <laughs> We don't know the bars either. True story. Oh, goodness. Who knew we could use these dishes so versatile? They sell these like six for a dollar at the dollar store, or you can get a big pack on Amazon. We bought like a hundred, I think. Some of us are, yesterday, Jamie, oh, yesterday, last week, I don't even remember when, she's looking for the ping pong balls. She said, where are the ping pong balls? She said, well, I think we made them into eyeballs. We did. And he had like a Halloween thing. I drew yeah, they had like <laughs> bloodshot eye things on them. And then we also used them for turkey eyes. So... We're a little bit low on our ping pong supply, <laughs> ping pong ball supply, but they're nice because they balance on the top of the shot glasses, and then the kids can also fill them up. They also balance really nicely on the top of the shot tubes, and so the kids are using these. Oh, just the colorful tubes. Just the color. The rain, I think that's how we labeled tubes. them as rainbow tubes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so the kids are using them to build. I'm going to flip the camera around just a little bit so you can see what it looks like on the light table. I'll just move out the way okay. I can see. Okay. I'm gonna flip this around. Wait, this is back here because I had to move it. Okay. Do you want to see if it, the light table will show up? Like if the. I can try it. I don't know if it will. So our light table is 24 by 24 inches. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I think it's okay. Does it show? Yeah. And we got it from Whitney Brothers. I'll leave a link, but it's probably one of the best purchases we've made for our classroom. We like to organize all of our light table materials into these clear trays that are also from the dollar store, like near the um, catering, the dollar store catering department. And the kids can use the shot glasses or the little cups to build pyramids on the light table, like, oh, like that. Really, they're actually probably better at it. Than they I also, um, you can flip them like right side up, upside down, and I build a tall this, tower. Though. Okay, there's the pyramid. Put a little ping pong ball on the top. And so we try to ask them, can anybody build something that's taller than that pyramid? Um, and you can build them like this. And of course we, you know, play alongside of them and sort of model some of the different opportunities and different ideas for them. But they come up with more ideas than we ever could. And so you could, oh, oh, look at you with the STEM challenge, Miss Gemma. I know. Oh, and so okay. that's not, I don't know about that one. Looks a little unsturdy. And then you could even put a ping pong ball up at the top. And so we'll ask them, can you build something that's tall and what? She's got some practice, mad skills. Can you build something that's tall and thin, or can you build something that takes up the whole light table? And by asking them these questions and presenting these challenges, it really takes their thinking to a no to the next level. So, um, Ms. John has another, what are you doing here? I'm gonna make another idea, a like a boat or something. <laughs> I don't know, I need to find one that looks like this. The materials are really versatile, and the students will come up with more ideas, like I said, than we ever could think of. Um, because they're just so much more creative than adults and because they think of objects and think of opportunities like that in different way yeah. different ways yeah. so I'm gonna flip it back around okay. I think unless I'll you have just, got other things you'd no, like to no, demonstrate I'm just I'll just because you know I'll just play with it I'll just I, <laughs> okay so that is our light table or just plain ooh, I might have to flip that off oh yeah sorry or just plain building challenge with simple supplies from the dollar store. So if you have other good ideas about how to use these supplies or about other STEM challenges, we would love to hear them. And um, what else? I think that's it. Have fun playing and learning with your kiddos.
and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, everybody.